Okay then, so before we move on to the next data type, I want to introduce the idea of command options. And these are like extra flags that we can add to some of the commands to change how they behave a little bit. Now, not all commands have extra options. In fact, just a few of them do, like set, which I'm looking at on the Redis docs right now. And if we scroll down a little bit, we can see a list of different options that can be used with this command. For example, ex and then a number of seconds when applied to the set command means I want this data that I'm setting to expire or be deleted after that amount of seconds. Px is the same thing, but in milliseconds instead of seconds, xat or pxat do something similar, but allow us to set a Unix timestamp for when we want the data to expire instead. Nx only sets the key if it doesn't already exist, and xx only sets the key if it does already exist, it overrides it, and so forth. Now, in some cases, you can't use certain options together. For example, it makes no sense to use nx and xx together because they conflict with each other. And likewise, it makes no sense to use ex and px together because they're both set an expiry time. And Redis outlines this at the top of the page by putting square brackets around groups of options with pipes in between them to specify you can only use one of those at once. So only nx or xx and only one of the expiry options. So let's have a look now at some of these options in practice. Okay, so I'm back in Redis Insight on the workbench and what I'm going to do is use the set command and then we're going to set a name which is going to be, I don't know, Yoshi. And by the way, we do already have a name over here. You can see that's a string, but it doesn't matter because if I want to override this, I can just say set and then the name of that key again, which is name, and it will override it with this value. So I'm going to set it to be Yoshi, but then I'm also going to use the ex flag right here to say expire after a certain amount of seconds, and that's gonna be seven seconds. So let me send this, it was okay. Now, if I go over here and refresh, we should see the name is currently Yoshi, right? But let's just wait for a few seconds, and then I'm gonna press refresh again. Hopefully seven seconds has passed, and now it's gone. So it's expired after that seven seconds, all right? So let's try something else. Let's try saying, I don't know, set, First of all, name again to be Mario. So we have a name. And if we go to the data, we should see that name again. So it's not going to expire this time because we didn't specify the EX flag. However, what I'm going to do now is come over here and say set name again and try and change this to Yoshi. However, this time I'm going to pass the flag NX. And remember, NX says only set this if it doesn't already exist. So if I send this, then you see we get nailed back. And if we go over here and refresh, name is still Mario because it did exist. So it's not going to set that. However, if I come over here and say set name Yoshi and then XX, that says only override this if it does exist. So I'm going to do that. And this time it's OK. If I go to the browser and go to name, you can see it's Yoshi. Now I'm going to delete that name key right here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to press up right here to get back the previous command. And I'm going to try this again. And this time we get back nil because it will have failed because XX says only update this or set it if it already exists and it doesn't already exist. So it fails. All right. So that's those two flags. Let's also do one more flag. I'm going to say set name. Oops. Set name. And remember, we no longer have name now, and the name is going to be Peach. And I'm going to pass on the get flag at the end, or the get option. And what that does is set the name, but also get me the previous value of the name. So if I do that, you can see it's nil because we didn't have name before. However, if I run this again and change Peach to something else like Toad and send this command, the previous value was peach, so it got me that, all right? And then if I update it again and change this to Luigi, send that, I get toad, which was the previous value. So there we go. There's a few options in practice. There are options for some of the other commands as well. Like I said, not all of them, just a handful of commands have these separate options, and we probably will see some of them as we go forward.